This video will show you how to present your visual aid and your speech presentation at the same time and record it all on your computer screen. Now, the catch is this only works for Mac computers. If you have Windows or a PC, uh, you will need to download a third party app. There are uh, a couple different options you can go through. I would recommend if you're a Grand Valley student to contact the IT help desk and get their input on that. But if you are a Mac user, you're ready to go. The first thing you will want to do is open QuickTime Player. Now, if you don't know where that's at, just go to your search on the top right, the magnifying glass, um, and type in QuickTime Player, and you'll see that pop up. So once that pops up, mine's already up as you can see, um, select that, and I'm gonna drop down, and my new screen recording is browned out, grayed out but yours will not be if you're not actively recording. So go ahead and select that, and then you will see another dialog box, which again, I can't really show you because I'm using it, but it will have a red recording dot in the middle, fairly small, and it will have a small drop down beside that recording start and stop button. Drop that down and select your microphone so that you can now talk and record the screen at the same time. Once you do that, you should be set to record. What you'll want to do is first pull up your visual aid. So in this case, I'm going to use a PowerPoint that I already have here. Um, you see Forrest Gump sitting on the bench. And in order for me to show the professor myself, I'm going to use a photo booth. And there I am. So what you'll need to remember is that you want these side by side and not overlapped at all or at least as little as possible so something like this would work but you definitely want the PowerPoint on top that way you can still click up and down and change your slides so I've got this not in full screen because that would take the audience out but now I can click through and you can see my visual aid and you can see me give the presentation. So again, your professor will have a lot of different ways that he or she may want you to do this, but these, these are the basics for recording your presentation with the aid. If this doesn't work for you and you can't find or don't want a third party app, the only other way that I know of anyway is to record yourself on your phone uh, with either your computer screen as the visual aid or your, uh, your television, for example could work if you want to um, stream it or plug in to your computer and have that visual aid behind you. Then of course your phone can record both of you in the same frame. Um, if you are recording on your phone and you need more information on how to do that and make it emailable, it's not really, it's a, you know emailing from the Google Drive, see the other video on the Speech Lab website. Again, this is all on our tab where we're dealing with alternatives that we're needing to use because of the coronavirus outage. But again, this should get you started and set in the right direction, and I hope it's helpful. When you're done, as I am now, two fingers on the uh, QuickTime player at the bottom, and you will see stop screen recording. So I'm going to do that. I'll see you later.